Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, The Shadows of Arm. And when last we left off, we have an all-evil party at long last. Yoshimo is gone, and he's been replaced by Hexat. What do you... what do you want? She's a little bit distracted. She wants us to go to the Graveyard District, which is convenient, because Corgan also wants to go to the Graveyard District, and the sooner we go the better off we'll be. We don't want to lose Corgan. We're not going to be getting any more evil party members after all. So, let's go immediately. I was tempted to go to the government district, but I can let that uh, wait for another time. We got loads of money for killing Mavar from Renal Blood Scalp. 10,500 gold. We're very close to 20,000. Though we're not going to be buying the information we need to get to Emwyn and Arenicus just yet. To the graveyard district we go. I remember something of this place. There are soothsayers and conjurers that whisper in hushed tones about an artifact lost to antiquity, but not so lost to a perceptive mage. Go on. I've heard rumors and done a little reading on the subject. Many have muttered the name in frustration, the Nether Scroll. I had an intense chat with a diviner that swore it was in Athcatla, buried among the nobles. If I... if we found it, we would be formidable indeed. The lower tombs, perhaps? We have a third party member that wants to go to the Graveyard District, though you'll only figure it out with Edwin when you go here. This place, unlike the other areas in Athcatla, well. is not explored by default, so we need to have a good look around for places we can go. There are quite a few ways into the lower tombs, and we'll be picking one of them that takes my fancy. I'm not sure which one it will be, but there are a few things that we can do here. We can find a quest, for instance, over here. Nearby, you see an open grave. A chill runs up your spine as you hear a sound emit from it. You shake your head and continue walking. The sound is clearer now. You are not imagining it. Muffled cries for help are coming from the grave. And right next to the grave is Kamir. I don't know why Kamir can't hear it, but we can. So let's see what's going on. Surely it can't be what we think it is. Oh... The grave is only partially filled. The gravekeeper must be lazy. Within a few minutes, you have reached the coffin. You open it to find a corpse and a man who is quite obviously alive. Oh, bless you, my lady, bless you. <coughs> I did not know how much longer I would survive buried in there as I was. Who are you? And how did you end up being buried alive? I... I was buried by the men who kidnapped me. <coughs> they held me for ransom from my family. And after my family had paid, they knocked me out. I... I remember being carried here and thrown into that grave next to another body. And then they buried me alive! <coughs> I'm sure... I'm sure I would have died if you had not arrived so soon. What a horrid death these evil men had in store for me. Oh... You should report this to the garrison at once. Oh no, I, I couldn't. These men are still out there, and they will surely come after me and my family if they knew I said anything. They said they had done this before, kidnapped people and buried them here for money. They will surely exact revenge if I go to the garrison. Please, you must... you must stop them. I beg of you. Perhaps you are right. What can you tell me about these men? Terry is spying a reward for doing this. Or at the very least, if these people are powerful enough to uh, do this without being disturbed, they might have money of their own. I... I don't know their names. There were three of them. The youngest carried me here. He dressed all in red. Strange and bright as you please. I woke up with this in my hand. I think I must have torn it off his shirt when he threw me in the grave. Here... Perhaps it will help you find him. Is there anything else you can think of? Only that there was someone who spoke to this man. Perhaps the gravekeeper. You should talk to him at least. He must have seen something. Thank you. I shall do my best to locate this man and bring them to... justice. Bless you, my lady. I wish you well. 
I must return to my family now and let them know I am still alive. Thank you, Helm, for watching over me. We don't have time for this, Terry. What business is it of ours if this fool allows himself to be buried alive? Bah! Are we the city guard? We are not, but we are opportunistic, and we see an opportunity mm, to earn money. If you say so. We could always do with more money, and speaking of the gravekeeper, here's the gravekeeper. I'm We're going to have a little chat. Yes? You got business here, or you're just like walking on the graves? Just taking a stroll. Didn't mean to bother you. It's all right then. You just watch your step and such. Hey, you look like you're a bit important. Like you're a bit tough and such. You got any, uh, special things you need taken care of? Like perhaps burying people alive? Are you paid well for this service? Well, yeah, yeah, pretty good. I mean, no. No, nothing like that here. Don't know what you're talking. I... I ain't done anything wrong. I'm just a simple gravekeeper. Ain't no crime here. Don't toy with me. I'll plant you in one of your own graves. Oh, this is getting complicated. I didn't do anything. Almost nothing. You would have killed me if I hadn't helped. Talk, or it will be the end of you. I don't know nothing. I just let them bury what they want when I fill in the graves. It's a man in red, what's I see. He's the one. He pays gold and I turn my head. You want him. Where is he now? Tell me. I don't know where he is. He comes here. Look, I help you. I think I see him sometimes by Bridge District. There, I help good. You're not going to tell anyone, are you? Are you? Pathetic creature. Run away. Far away. And don't you ever come back. No! G gotta run! Gotta get away! Well, we have a clue. We can go to the bridge district and uh, go track these people yeah. down. Let's have a look at that piece of cloth. This is a piece of red cloth that Turdir claimed to have torn off his captor's clothing. Perhaps you should keep watch for a man in red as you move through the city. Well, we have a man in red in our party right now. He's called Edwin Odesseron, but I doubt he did it. I'm he certainly wouldn't dirty yeah. his hands with something as menial as uh, what uh, this person described when they were thrown into that grave. There is something else that can happen here, and I want to find it because it's rather... Ooh, I think Edwin is over-encumbered. Yes, I didn't mean to give this to Edwin. I meant what to give it to it Dawn. Hmm. There we go. There is something else that can happen here, and it's rather silly, Whatever so I want decide. to find it. If we were here at night, we would talk to the person that we were told to go and see to get a offer. The offering question is something that um, we may want to hear, but we probably want to hear from uh, Galen Bale first. So we'll try our best not to be here at night. No promises on that, though. I think over here is where we need to go for this. Let's see if that's the case. Ah, yes, this is where we need to be. Hello. Help me. Help me, please. What's the problem? It's Uncle Lester. He's risen from his grave. He scared everyone away who was at the funeral, and now he's come after me. What? I put up with that cheap bastard all my life. You know what he left me in his will? A sweater! Now even in death, the damnable fiend still torments me! Speaking of Lester, here he is! Cheap sweater? Well, I'll have you know that belonged to your grandfather, you ungrateful git! I love this exchange. Ah! It's him! Call me a fiend, will you? Well, I've never seen such a cheap funeral in my life. You sold my clothes and kept the casket closed. You picked the flowers this morning from near the swamp. And you gave a drunken priest to tell us a few covers to slur some lines of profanity to pass for a eulogy. The outrage! The sheer outrage! Gah! How could I afford anything, you old fool? You left all your money to that Kalashite whore! You're lucky I didn't just dump you in the river! Ah, the indignity! The insufferable indignity! You miserable wretch of a nephew! Get back to the grave, you worm-ridden devil! Only you would rise from the dead to torment me! 
Oh, I'll go back, all right, but not before I kill you, you disgusting piece of filth. Prepare to die, Nevin. Leek, save me! Save me! I feel like Nevin deserves this. We're not going to save Nevin. I think we'll just watch the spectacle. There, stupid git didn't deserve more than a sweater and a kick in the rump anyway. Hmm. Now I wonder where my callous eyed darling went off to. Always time for one last quickie. And off Uncle Lester goes. Yes. Well that was something. We got a single gold coin for that. Hmm. And I think it's time to leave this area and go into the lower tomb. This place is going to be fraught with danger and peril. Tell me all about it. Let's go in. The tombs are eerily silent, yet you have the feeling of being watched. Best to be careful. Traps and dangers abound within these tombs. Every step could be your last. Hexat, we need you to look for things. It's so cloudy. Definitely not focused on things that are going on right now. Definitely not. I feel like preparing a few spells for Edwin might be a good idea here. We'll get rid of some of these and get a few more magic missiles ready. I feel like a protection from petrification may also be a nice idea. You never know when you might need that. And maybe a protection from evil. There we go. As for level 2, we do have a few more uh, things here. Invisibility might be nice. Do we need horror? Horror's not terrible. Power word sleep's good. Web's okay. Uh, let's see. I think we can get rid of Vampiric Touch, though. And maybe we could have a Dire Charm might be a good idea. And... We could get rid of a... We'll get rid of a fireball and have a flame arrow, I think. We're going to be too close to enemies that fireball will not be that effective. As for this level, I feel like this level's okay, but we'll have a stone skin ready. There we go. As for level 5, we have lots of things here. I think a domination might be good, and we have nothing there. Speaking of spellcasting, time for you to also prepare some spells. Now, we don't want uh, that there, or this, or that. We'll have Bless, and Remove Fear actually might be a good idea. Just one. Keep clicking a little too quickly. And we'll do that. There we go. And... Protection from Evil? No, another one of these. You're our only... Uh, Main, you're our main healer, so we need a lot of uh, healing. Silence 15 foot radius might actually be a pretty good spell right now. Aid is also pretty decent. We'll get that uh, ready. Now, that and that can go. This can be prepared, and I feel like remove paralysis might be good. As for 4th level spells, Cure Sirius seems pretty good. That is negative plane protection. Ooh, that seems pretty good. And Lesser Restoration, also pretty decent. But I feel like another Cure Sirius Wounds is a good idea. We do have one 5th level spell. Raise Dead might actually be quite nice. But I think uh, Cure Critical is much better. Do you have any spell casting right now? No, not at the moment. I'm busy, okay? I'm busy. I know you're busy. Yeah. I know. Oh, I think we just need to do a little bit of resting. And we'll save here. Why not? Let's rest. Life is strength. It's another one of those dreams. We've been having a lot of these. This is not to be contested. It seems logical enough. You live, you affect your world. But is it what you need? You are different inside.
This woman lives and has strength of a sort. She lost her parents to plague, her husband to war, but she persevered. Her farm has prospered, her name is respected, and her children are fed and safe. She lived as she thought she should. And now she is dead. Notice the environment we're in. I believe this is the main library of Candlekeep. Her land will be divided, her children will move on, and she will be forgotten. She lived a good life, but she had no power. She was a slave to death. I wonder if you are destined to be forgotten. Will your life fade in the shadow of greater beings? You are born of murder, the very essence of that which takes life. You have power if you wish it. There are two options here. I have no interest in the horrors you offer, none of this is to be believed, or these images are interesting to me. I deserve power because of what I am. Now, this may seem like the correct response, but Irenicus did some horrendous things in his experimentation, both to Emowyn and to you. We have no interest in the horrors he offers. If we come to discover by ourselves what our Valspawn blood may do for us, we may be more interested. But Irenicus, we're not interested in the horrors you offer. I have no interest in the horrors you offer. None of this is to be believed. Really? But the consequences are so very real. Your actions affect so many others than yourself, you will come to realize how little choice you have. You will do what you must, become what you must, or others will pay for your cowardice. You will accept the gifts offered to you. Well, that was unpleasant. Spellcasting has been done, though. Have you nothing else to do but bother me? We want you to, uh, prepare for combat, Edwin. There's going to be a fair bit of that down here, as we do some dungeon delving. You are lucky I'm here. Am I? Well, start detecting traps and illusions, because we're going to be doing that for a long time. Also, there are goodies over here. What would you have me do? I'd have you look in that jar. Very well. Here is a scroll that we cannot use. But we can sell it. And selling scrolls is always a good thing. Now that that jar has been explored, it's time to do some dungeon delving. And it's time to get rid of this dagger. And equip you with some much better equipment. I believe you're the person that's carrying the equipment that uh, she'll be using and you have the blade that she'll be using, provided that she has skill in... Yep, she has skill in short sword. Perfect. What do you... What do you want? I want to equip you with these things. They'll make you that much better at dealing with damage and also fighting. Armor class of one. Not bad. You are lucky I'm here. Yes, I am. It's time for you so to start searching for traps. Cloudy. There'll be traps everywhere in here, like that one right there. Is there anything else that we can open? There's this here. Who wants to bet that it is trapped? Mm. I think it's trapped. To it. Just gotta wait. There's the trap. We'll deal with that. As you wish. And then we'll unlock this, because inevitably it will be locked. We have a gem, some gold, and some scrolls. Pretty useful scrolls, I imagine. Let's have a look at them. This is a uh, protection from fire, and this is protection from undead. This is a spell that Edwin could learn. That is one that we can just use, and trust me, I'm going to have that uh, ready on myself, because if there's one thing I don't want to have happen, it's for me to get killed what by some you? undead. What do you want? Let's move forward very yeah. carefully. I remember one of the first D&D campaigns I was in as a player, and I've no idea why all of you have decided to uh, bunch up there on that square, in that place. You really shouldn't. And I'm going to have to move you in such a way that you're going to uh, 
There we go. That's one person moved. One would very well. And another. Yes. And you'll move there. Required. I don't want that to keep happening, that's for sure. Totally threw me off my concentration. Anyway, the first game that I was a player in, uh, Tabletop D&D, &D, we ended up searching for traps very slowly and methodically using a stick that had Anything detect magic on it. Our way will be buried in this place's rubble. Dawn is very confident about uh, exploring this place. I'm less confident. I'm pretty sure there'll be a trap or two mm, or twenty says. that I, I have to deal I with. Be quick I don't with want it. to deal with them. Be there well are some traps. Let's if get rid of them. Want. Ooh, Dawn's gained a level up. That's pretty nice. And is this also locked? Yes, it is. And there are some quite nice things in here, including a wooden stake. If you think that the wooden stake is going to be used to deal with a vampire, you'd be absolutely right. Though let's hope we don't find a vampire in here. Let's give Dawn a level up, shall we? Dawn gained 10 hit points and one proficiency slot, and I don't think he can gain more than two in any weapon. So let's actually go and give him some ranged uh, capability with longbow. He can now use the weapon with no penalties, which is good. You are lucky I'm here. We're very lucky yes. that you're here. Oh, all right. And Edwin, we're also very lucky that you're here too. Even if you don't appreciate that you're here. I'm going to save because I'm still very concerned about this place. We're slowly inching forward and beginning our first major dungeon delve since the first chapter. We didn't like that dungeon and we're probably not going to like this one either because it's going to be full of undead and various critters. I believe there are quite a few spiders in here if memory serves, and poison in this game is a terrible mechanic to face, and I'm surprised I didn't prepare any uh, poison curing capabilities with Faconia. Really should have done that. And so, Shuddly when made, we come back, and subtly maintained, but good killing grounds nevertheless. Corgan is excited to be down here too. And we're going to explore not only for Dragomir's tomb, which Hexat wants to find, but also for the Nether Scrolls, which Edwin wants to find, and a book which Corgan needs to find. Loads of quests lead here if you've got an evil party. More than I thought there would be. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.